Over the past three years, I've tried hundreds of storytelling exercises, but there are two that I've done every single day. Now, these exercises will help you feel super comfortable sharing the story in front of friends, coworkers, and on video. These two exercises will only take five minutes to complete and will change the way you speak. Let's go. Exercise one, the biggest blocker that stopped me from telling more stories was that I didn't know what stories to tell. I thought, oh, my life is just so average. I don't have any interesting stories to tell. What I realized after is the problem wasn't that I didn't have any stories to tell, but the problem was that I didn't know how to spot them. Every day there are countless of beautiful moments that I just had to become aware of. Now, how? It's by doing an exercise called Homework for Life by Matthew Dix. How does it work? Every single day, I sit down and I ask myself, hmm, if I had to tell a story from today, what would it be? What would be that one moment that stood out, that one moment that touched my heart, this maybe funny conversation, this beautiful moment, this awesome interaction? What's that one moment? And then I sit down and I note down the date, the story worthy moment, and a lesson, but that's kind of optional. Now, just to give you an idea, here's a screenshot of my homework for life. Now, at first, it wasn't too exciting. My first few entries were like, oh, today I had cereals for breakfast, or, um, yeah, I gave a presentation today at work and my boss liked it. <laughs> but after some time, the entries became much more meaningful. Once I've done that for a few weeks, I had dozens and dozens of stories that I could pull out in front of my friends, coworkers, and also on stage. But before sharing that moment, actually with other people, I also do that next exercise. Exercise two. Once I've identified that story worthy moment, I usually try to improvise a story on the spot based on that moment. Now, usually I try to follow some sort of structure. So I cover something like, context, challenge, and resolution. But hey, don't worry. If you have no clue about story structures, don't worry. By the end of the video, I'll give you a tip on what structure to use. But let me now first give you an example, okay? Um, so today, my story worthy moment was getting very angry while cleaning up horseshit at home. Now, here's how my improvised story could look like. Today, I had a major realization on how to make any work more enjoyable. This past week, I've spent at my mother's farm in Germany. She had asked me to take care of the animals while she was traveling. And even though I do it, I don't, I don't really like it. I kind of hate it. And so this morning, I arrived at the horse's stables. And as I looked around, I just thought, man, fuck this, right? There was just horse poo everywhere. And I already thought, like, oh, stupid horses, right? Why do they need to poo everywhere? Now I gotta clean it up. I, man, I hate this. Annoyed, I start to clean up the poo. But I noticed that with each moment, I was getting more and more upset. But then, five minutes in, something curious happened. As I was lifting up the shit, something hit me. I realized, ah, I'm not doing this to clean up the stable. I'm doing this to help my mom. I'm doing this because I love her. The moment I realized that, something switched in my head. Well, before I got very upset about cleaning up the horseshit, this time it started to feel okay. I started to even enjoy it a little bit. Now, what I learned from that experience is that you can make any boring task enjoyable as long as you focus on who you are helping. That's my improvised story. Now, could I tell it better? For sure, if I spend an hour preparing it, it would be better. But that's not the goal of improv. Improv is messy. You make mistakes, but you're not thriving for perfection. Improv is about coming up with creative ideas on the spot and becoming comfortable to share a story without having to prepare like crazy. So give it a try. Sit down and ask yourself, if I had to tell a story from today, what would it be? What would be that one moment that stood out, my one story worthy moment? And then once you have it, go ahead and improvise a story on the spot. But hey, I'm mindful that you may need some extra help to structure your story. If that's the case, you may want to check out this next video, which I'll share my favorite storytelling structure. Enjoy.